What's up? I'm back and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to download some Left 4 Dead 2 mods. So the first thing you want to do is go to this website, which I will leave a link in the description below to this website. Hover over games and then go to Left 4 Dead 2. After that, you can click on mods or maps. It does not matter, but for now I'm going to be downloading maps. And for you it's going to say most recent, but uh, I clicked the most popular and left it like that. So I'm going to be downloading Deathcraft 2. So all you're going to want to do is click download, wait for the download, after you click download once again, wait for that, and then wait for this, or just click here if you do not want to wait, and it should download, so yeah, I wait for that to download, and yeah. So once the download is done, you're going to want to extract it to your desktop or whatever you're using to extract, extract it to your desktop. And it should open up a file, and it should be saying VPK files, but yeah. So you're going to want to open up the Deathcraft file here. And yeah, you're going to want to get the VPK, the game that maps.com.txt is nothing. It's just telling you where you got the file from. But you're going to need the VPK. Um, so as you guys can see, there's a little dot here and a dot here. Um, the dot means what type of file it is, so since there's a dot here, it thinks that one is a type of file and it's not going to register it as a file, as it's unknown. So just going to want to take out that one and the dot, leave one dot, and put a deathcraft 2 point vpk. After that, you're going to want to drag this into your desktop and click go, go to folder. And I will leave that, um, I'll leave that in the description below, this file, so you can go to your Left 4 Dead 2 files automatically. Go on, click on add-ons, and just drop this in. After you've dropped that in, open it, go ahead and open up your Steam. Open up your Steam, go to Left 4 Dead 2, and automatically click play. Once you have opened up, it, um, Left 4 Dead 2, you're going to want to click on add-ons here, and you will look for Deathcraft 2. As you guys can see, it's here, and it works. So, you want to click done. Make sure that it does work. Um, if you're playing on your own, just go to the left and play single player. Then change your map on the add-on campaign, click on Deathcraft. And then you can choose any chapter, the difficulty, and the character you want. And then you can play. And this image here will pop up with the Deathcraft um, saving chunks one zombie at a time. So, yeah, you're just gonna wanna wait for this to load up as it is loading up all the map details and all the textures, pretty much everything, the intro to this, everything. So, it's gonna take a little bit. Um, even with the fastest type of system, it's going to take a little bit of time to, for it to load up. So you just be patient on that and there we go. The intro comes in and it's a perfect time for this map too because it's always snowing and snow resembles um, Christmas, which is really nice. So let's watch this intro here. So as you can see, the textures down here, Francis, Zoe, Lewis, and Bill, you guys all have hearts. Looks like we're walking then. And as you guys can see, it all works pretty good. Everything looks awesome. Everything looks awesome. You have your swords, all the textures are working. Open up the door here. Bam, bam, bam. Look at that. Textures all work. Everything works. And that's pretty much it on how you install Left 4 Dead maps on here. Like Deathcraft. 
And also, make sure to use that uh, little trick I showed you guys, the, the VPK file, the, where it said 2.1. Make sure you take off that dot. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. As always, stay awesome, and peace out. My mother told me that the world just got its